Good morning. Happy 4th of July. Um, guy wanted to do this video yesterday, but I uh, was playing with my little boy Andy and doing most of the stuff and doing some other designs. So I want to take a few moments this morning and talk to you about the Finale Boars for 200 gram cakes. Now, like I said in multiple videos and you know, kind of outlined, where we are at in uh, Tulsa, Oklahoma, it can get really hot on the 4th of July. And again, previous uh, years when I do a little show at my brother's house, uh, which is where the V3 Pyrotechnic Designs comes from, is my brother, myself, and now my little boy. So we, uh, we, would, do our, we would do our show, or I'd do the show, and he would host a party. And I always would miss out on the the fun, you know, the, the hamburgers and the hot dogs and the swimming and, of course, the adult beverages as I'd sit there and fuse this up. So, this is why I kind of came up with some of these designs because you can do 99% of this stuff in advance. So, when it comes time to, to actually do and lay out your show, all you have to do is connect a couple of fuses here, a couple of fuses there, and you're done. So, um... This is you know, a great opportunity is to, to kind of show you uh, one of the other components. We're going to have some great surprises for you tonight on um, some Andy Daddy Kids Choice designs. So you want to make sure you check back uh, when, we do, uh, when we go live with a couple of these. Um, again, it's you know, Fourth of July is um, you know family affair. You get your friends, your family, and some of these designs are going to help you really, really make sure you put on an incredible show. So <clears throat> you saw in previous videos where I utilized just a straight level um, finale board and I used it for uh, for fountains okay and showed you kind of how uh, I was going to you know some different layout ideas of course I'm not going to show you the actual true layout until tonight um, for the so that way you can kind of see what it looks like set up and then we're going to do you know some some demos to show you you know basically this is how you know this product works together with your favorite fireworks so for this one, I'm going to show you a, and I kind of call it unique, I'm going to take this one off of here. And this one is actually, it's an angled rack, okay? So you can kind of see here, okay, it's angled to where you can do really one of two things. I could take one board like this, and I could take another board like this. Okay, and then when I take my 200 grams, they're actually going to be angled as such. Okay, now this, uh, these products right here, I, I picked up uh, a little, almost by a year ago. I've been holding on to them, so then that way you have a firing that goes off on an angle. Okay, but if you, you know, you can, the great thing about this is you can do a couple different configurations. So let's say I put another board in the middle. I really want to have some fun. I can spread them out and of course this for just this demo I wouldn't recommend you know doing it this way but I can do it if I really want to have some fun and kind of offset them a little bit and I can have them crisscross so of course you know obviously I'd spread it out so that way they don't run in, they don't run into each other so with that then I can have some crisscross effect too so really you can get kind of creative and um, really create a, a unique one of a one of a kind show. So again, each board has pile of holes. Each finale board has the pile of holes in there because again, what you don't see in some of the other videos is man, you see these great layouts and all these big boards and everybody glues down, you know, will glue down their their cakes. But in the end, they never show you the cleanup, and that's the worst part. It is so much fun putting these together and I'm enjoying doing these videos. I'm, I hope you enjoy watching them, but you got to clean up when you're done. So again, with these, once you have the set of finale boards, then each year, all you have to do is again, little quarter inch Luan plywood. Okay. And I kind of cut it using a, a circular saw, but you know what? I don't it really don't matter. This doesn't matter to me because in the end, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my fireworks, glue them onto this board right here. And then all I do is just use, utilize um, 
my screws, my machine screws, wherever they are. I need to make sure I find those for tonight. Screw it in, nut it in, so uh, tighten the nut so that way it stays tight on the board. And again, the board is nice and secure. It's flat level. So it'll sit on your grass or it can sit on your uh, your, your uh, street, you know, on a hard surface. And then that way you're, you're set to go when you're done. You just unscrew it. You take this piece, you throw it away. And then you've got your boards again reusable for next year. So let's get started on how I'm actually going to fuse these. Now, that was a two foot board, okay? And there's a lot of different, uh, a lot of different fuses out there. Uh, I'm going to use, because I'm running really, really low on fuse, and I got a couple other uh, displays I want to do for tonight. But I'm going to use 20 second per foot fuse. Now this 20 second per foot, obviously I just cut it to the length of the board. The reason behind that is because then I can connect the ends to other pieces as well. So just by adding you know, additional, so I can again make my show as long as I want or as short as I want. Okay, so, oh, there they are. There's my, there's the machine screws that, that we use to, to screw into the board. Again, 97 cents at Walmart, package at 10. Save them. I use one of these little uh, <laughs> great value dry roasted uh, and salted peanuts. So I put my zip ties in there, you know, so when I'm done, I can just throw my screws in there as well. And I always know where my materials are for the next year. Okay, so, you know, you look around online, you can find different fuse types. Again, at two feet, this is going to last about 40 seconds per board. Okay. Uh, if you, you know, lucky enough to find a really slow fuse, 30 seconds per foot, then you're looking at at least a minute. Okay. So, uh, when I went out and was doing some of the, the product uh, uh, store show, uh, store tours, came across, you know, some of my all-time favorite little 200 gram cakes. And of course, whenever you're setting, whenever you're setting these up, you want to make sure that, you know, you're always building to something. So whether it be, um, you, know, a, a, you know, your large 200 gram cakes or a little bit larger that go bigger or higher, uh, last a little bit longer. But I always love to, because these things are really, if you look, they're really dirt cheap. Um, but these little nine shot 200 gram cakes. Okay. Now, one of my tours, uh, which was through Jake's, for years had this little added again, as well as uh, Dark Ghost, and they had a third one called Evil which they no longer carry. But I was lucky enough to find these last weekend at one of the little roadside tents. I didn't take a video of the, the tent because it's pretty much the same, but um, I got like two of these for five bucks. And then each one of these are like $2.99. So really for $20, I was able to get enough of these little small cakes so I can go ahead and build my board. Okay, So we talked about, you know, you're, you know, use, you're building up uh, your cakes, um, so that way you're, you're building to an impressive finale. Okay, if you, anybody who's attended a fireworks show will attest to that. You start small, you work up, you work up, you work up. But with these boards, okay, you kind of accomplish the same thing. So here's a couple, I mean, most of the ones that I have are, are a little bit smaller. You know, I've got a couple of these little uh, breakouts, which are, uh, oh, what does it say? It shoots flaming balls. It doesn't really tell me what what the actual, there we go, it says, this may be a small package, but it's loaded with big bursts, alternating burst of red star mines to crackling burst, white glitter mines to a big crackling burst, blue star mines to a big crackling burst. Okay, and this is by Showtime. So, you know, you, you can mix and match and, you know, you can create something different. So, when I you know, have that and then um, one of the other products, I'm taking the price tag, so I just see. Um, when I, when, and before tonight, I will take off all the tops on them, so it makes it clean up a little bit easier. Okay, but crackling mines. Okay, so here I am. I got you know, got some different products. Well, each board, depending upon when, where you know how you set it up, you can 
you know, want to make sure you, you know, if you put it all the way up to where you have enough room to, you know, to give you some screw, uh, put your screws in, but you can spread them out. And these cakes will last roughly about 15 to 20 seconds per cake, which is, you know, not, not a lot, but again, start slow, build big. Okay, so I can go and maybe do something along those lines. Okay, I have quite a few of these boards and I want to, I want to go ahead and um, really, you know, really, really build big. I want a lot of things going off. Well, of course, here's a couple more. Here's a, a red rhino uh, cat fight. Okay, again, this is a little 200 gram. It looks like it's a nine shot, but I can actually just kind of move these closer together. And this board will actually hold a total of one, two, three, four, five, six total little, excuse me, little 200 gram cakes. Okay, and th again, this is a two foot board. So you also have a, if you looked at some of the previous videos, a three foot board. Now a three foot board with a um, 20 second per foot leader fuse is going to basically run you about a minute. So again, here I am, I've got, I can, you know, mix and match and make this, you know, as big as I want, as fast as I want, as many explosions as I want, or I can just take a, take away a piece here, and kind of spread them back out, okay, I can go four, I can go five, again, really depending upon what you're, what you want to accomplish with your shell. It can be, again, you can change it and mix and match it each and every year. That's the great thing about it. Of course, you know, this is a Red Rhino. This is a one, this is one of my little favorite nine shots. It's a Fedora by Gangster Series. Of course, I told you about uh, the world class at it again. And I, I would love to be able to find, you know, cases of this one um, locally. You know, it's hard to really order online and have it delivered here to, to Oklahoma. And our shopping season is a little bit, uh, a little bit short than most places, but so again, um, you know, here I've got an X Factor, which is by uh, Legend. And this one, uh, what does it say it does? Uh, shoots flaming balls, doesn't really give me a performance, but this is a little eight shot, okay? Okay, I'm still not bad. And of course, you know, I got my Dark Ghost at it again. Uh, here's another little one called Stardust. Nope, oh, take the price off for this one. Oops, I ripped the light to top off, okay? Um, this one's by Showtime, Stop, uh, Stardust, okay? So I can, you know, again, I mix and match, you know, my, my manufacturers. What else do I have here? A couple more Red Rhinos. So I got From the Deep right here. Okay, and then I've got uh, White Tiger, which is another little nine shot by Red Rhino. So this is this is the fun part. I, I enjoy this. This is what you know I can you know set them up, set sit back, and I can enjoy it myself. I uh, prefer things to be kind of symmetrical on my boards. So I want to probably you know I may set up the same thing on a, the second board. I I don't really know yet. I haven't decided. But when I put these on the board itself, I want to center them. Okay. If um, again, depending upon where I am um, or what I, which angle I'm going to do, if I use an angle, these little angle boards, and just to kind of show you, I have a little ledge on them. So when I put the actual physical board on, okay. Of course, with them being glued down, they're all nice and centered. Okay, which I haven't glued them down yet, or I can go ahead and I can push them all the way up against the edge so I get a little bit extra security as they're you know, glued down as well as kind of holding them up. Like on these little triangular ones, you may want to go ahead and put a flat ledge. Okay, so I can do that. Then, and that's using the small ones. And of course, everybody knows these 200 gram cakes come in different sizes. So I kind of showed you that. I you know, did not uh, pick up a lot of bigger ones because I got so many things to show tonight and display tonight that 
you know, I want to make sure I, I cover most of the products that we, we have. But, you know, here's another little bit bigger one, Brass Knuckles uh, by Gangster Series. Okay, um, this one is, I think this one was like $4.99. And it's a little nine shot. And again, uh, it says, what does it say? Shoots flaming balls. It doesn't really tell me the effects on it. But of course, you know, with all the YouTube videos that are out there and everything, you can, you know, obviously, um, you know, see what the, the effects are. What I'm really showing here today is different concepts and different ideas to go ahead and lay out, use, utilizing what your favorite cakes are. So, you know, kind of with the brass knuckles, you have, uh, obviously, the bigger the, the bigger the cake, the less you'll have. But again, you know, you can line them up completely, and, you know, right next to each other. So I can, you know, still put a bigger one and still fit. Okay. A total of one, two, three, four, five, six. Still a total of six different ones. So, again, it's... That's why I get excited, it's because you can be creative, utilizing the same materials, change up your show, put these in your show in different placements. And if you haven't seen some layout options, I mean, definitely check out our layout option videos because it's going to help you really, you know, hey, I can lay it out multiple ways. And especially if I have a limited space, unlike, you know, utilizing a two, you know, huge two foot, you know, by four foot board and putting it all on one board, that takes up a lot of room. And most people don't have that kind of space. You know, they're going to do like what we do tonight and just do it out in the driveway or do it out in the road. So we want to make it as simple as possible. Okay, so that's, you know, a little bit bigger one. And then, of course, some of your most more standard size. This is uh, the Getaway Car, another gangster series. Again, I had these for probably about a year now. Um, kind of just stashed away. So, uh, but with this, you know, this particular one, Again, it's going to take up a little bit more room, but as you can, as you can tell, when I, when I put it on the board, I still have enough space I can get even a little bit larger ones. And if they hang off a little bit, you know, because of the size of them, again, you're going to glue these down, and we're going to glue, glue them down, that I can go ahead and, you know, make sure I leave enough room, and I probably can, you know, probably space them out a little bit, and a couple of little bit smaller ones. You can kind of see here now where I'm going with this. To start off with little lines so I can you know space them out and I get yeah you know, I can put five of them on there so it can kind of off and, you know, and I start building and then you know at the end you can you know attach another one go different angle go straight vertical with them you know with the, the little flat board like this right here so I can you know you can't probably see it very well but I can go ahead and I can put another vertical come vertical you know, and then if I really want to be creative and go outside, I can take another one of these angle boards, place it over here on this side, much like this. Okay. I can run them, run my, you know, run two sets of fuses, come down both sides. So I can go at the same time, fuses light my fireworks on this side, meet in the middle and go off to something else. Okay. So, you know, stay tuned, come check back later, uh, later today. Or check back tonight, or tomorrow I should say, once I get them all uploaded. And you'll see how I w was able to go ahead and uh, set these boards up. And from there, then we'll be able to, uh, and you'll be able to see exactly the performance of how the boards work and what it looks like. And, you know, start playing for your 2019 uh, celebration. You know, it's never too early to start thinking about it. So, I appreciate you uh, taking the time to watch our video. And uh, have a great and safe fourth, and we will definitely uh, check back with you later today. Thanks again for watching and be sure to like our like and subscribe to our channel for all of your instructional videos. You can also find us on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, and Twitter, V3 Pyro Designs. And then later this year we'll be able to visit us at www.v3pyrodesigns.com where presentation matters.